Hello and welcome to Cloud and Web Developer. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can connect to your EC2 instances or any instance really in the cloud uh, using an FTP file transfer protocol uh, program like FileZilla in my case. Why would you want to do that? For me, I love using FTP and application FTP because uh, it helps me visualize the file system of my instance and also to mo move folders around, transfer files from the server to my computer and from my computer to the server back and forth. It's a protocol that was like its name indicates envisioned to be focused on transferring information, especially large files. If you have a large uh, compressed file or a repository or anything in your Ubuntu files, uh, you can download it easily or upload it easily to your instance. Now, just one thing and you need to be careful, it happened to me. Um, I downloaded 300 gigabytes the other day from an Ubuntu instance in Amazon and it cost me about $50. So you have to be careful with the data transfer rates. I forgot about them and you know, they do have a cost anyway. So that's outside the scope of this video. So let's go to my computer. And as you can see, I'm in my EC2 panel. There is one instance running. I just made it for this video. And remember when you create your instance at the end, the last step is to create, it asks if you want to create a pen file, a security SSH key file. And so create one and save it somewhere that you can remember because you'll need it for this video. All right, so from this screen, the only thing I need is gonna be to copy this public IP address for now. And now I'm gonna open my FileZilla application. FileZilla is awesome, it's tried and tested. It's very, it's very robust. And every time you open, it's gonna be an update. They have updates like every two days, it's crazy. So I'm just gonna skip it for now. And then instead of connecting here to host, username, password, what you want to do this time is to go to file, site manager. And I'm just gonna delete this one and let's make a new one here. So new site. And I'm gonna say uh, YouTube uh, EC2, whatever you wanna call it. And then in here, instead of FTP, because you're gonna be using SSH transfer protocol, you wanna choose SFTP. Your host is gonna be the public IP that you just copy from here, this one right here, and port 22. And login, you're gonna put a key file, and this is where uh, in user is Ubuntu. If, if it, th this works if it's an Ubuntu instance, if it's something else like Red Hat or anything like that, you might have to put root or, you know, whatever user is your, that you're gonna be using. For, for this case, it's Ubuntu. Uh, the key file, browse and find it, your pen file. For me, this is the one I chose to use upon the creation of the EC2 instance, right? And that's it. Now you can connect. As you can see, the connection went successfully. The first time you connect, might ask you if you wanna trust this file um, and you say, okay. And there you go. So what you can see on the right side, this is all the files that are in my instance. So as you can see, I'm in the Ubuntu folder. So if I wanna navigate, I can start, you know, clicking on some folders. I can go up. Uh, it's probably not much really at the moment. This is just the basic installation. I haven't put in anything at all, but if you had an application here, you can now either find your files on this side, which is your local file system, or you can also drag and drop an image of Mass Effect in there. And there you go, it's right there. So if I go in the uh, command line interface and I do an LS in my home folder, this is gonna be there. Uh, so that's it, that's all there is to it. It's very useful, so hopefully this was helpful to you. I'll see you on the next video. This is Carlos for Cloud and Web Developer. See you later.